I think it's fair to say it is the holiday season, and in most cases, that means house guests, family get togethers, maybe an unexpected guest unexpected. or two. <laughs> Here to make sure your fridge is full and your pantry is stocked with the right items is the hostess with the most, <laughs> Jen Presserata <laughs> from That's So Jen Blog.com. Yes. Nice to have you here. Thank you. It's good to be back. So this is important, I feel like, because everyone wants to be prepared. You don't want to come have guests come over. You've empty-handed, nothing to serve them. Right, absolutely. So this is That's So Jen's cheat sheet for entertaining. <laughs> so it's things to keep in your fridge and in your pantry. I go with the acronym party guest do is PGD. Okay. So you want presentation because you know the way you the way something looks you know we, we visualize things first so a platter goes a long way. Um, G for garnish. Okay. So just a little fresh herbs goes a long way just a little sprinkle of something over the top and D for drink which is where we're actually going to start. Okay. Okay. So um, something as simple as bottled waters keeping that on hand flavored seltzers kind of know your audience so if you have you know maybe someone who's pregnant or not a drinker maybe it's something ah, sparkling I always true. like to have on hand but red wine you don't have to refrigerate it you can have it anywhere all the time and if somebody walks in the door and you offer a drink they just it just feels relaxing it feels like yeah. a party and it almost takes a pressure and stress off you because they have something in their hand already so kind of job well done and the same thing with a bottled water you don't have to worry about washing a cup as oh, silly as that bonus. sounds it's true um, I always always give them a marker you, you've experienced this <laughs> to mark your drink whether it be a cup a plastic cup or a bottle so you know what it is they can take it on the road with them keep them hydrated so that's an easy thing. And embrace the power of the reusable, the plastic. plastic. You know, if you're having a lot of people over, you know, if you're having a few girlfriends, take the nice wine glasses, but embrace the cups, the plates, the reusable, disposable stuff, I mean. And, uh, okay, so first of all, for, for food, cheese and crackers. I mean, everybody loves cheese and crackers. So keeping boxes of crackers in the pantry, they usually have a long expiration date. Mm -hmm. um, again, we have some friends who are gluten-free, so we're always aware of their allergy, but other than that. So kind of um, no, we try to accommodate, but a variety of cheeses. So you can have some that come pre-cut. You have others that you just shove a nice uh, serving spreader in there, and they do it themselves. I mean, it's their it's own so portion. Pretty. It it's looks so great. easy. This is um, I love these. You can actually write on this with chalk. It turns, so it's a little for everybody. If you're sitting at a table, it rotates. There's fresh herbs on there as well as another like garnish, which you could add to spreadable cheese. Um, this goat cheese already has herbs on it, so you know again, just look at the store for something that might be a little bit different. Okay. Um, fun things like this. Tapenades are phenomenal. Get them at the store in a jar. Keep them in your pantry. Um, roasted red pepper spread, olive tapenade. And they're done. Yeah, they're done. You, right? They're already mixed and flavored. You spread them on a cracker. Things like fresh salsas. So if, if you know somebody is coming over, you have a little more notice. You mm -hmm. can keep this in your fridge. Um, you know, switch it up with maybe a mango salsa and a sweeter chip. Um, things like edamame. Think about you go to a restaurant. You know, mm -hmm. go to sushi and hibachi. They come in the pods too. But if you have them like this, they're just a good finger food. Actually, Emma eats them as well. Um, things for the pantry again, like salsa. So if you don't want to keep something fresh in the fridge, uh, jars of salsa, a bag of chips. Done. You have Classic. a party. Classic. <laughs> Everybody loves it. Something like a hummus. You can make your own with white beans. Mm. I've done it on the show that's so Jen.com has lots of recipes. Um, you know, beans and a and a jar of sundry tomatoes, put it in the food processor and you have a fresh dip. Okay. Um, even getting creative with chips. So I entertain all the time. Even I get bored of the things so and <laughs> we don't want the same. So these are pumpkin chips. You know, Ooh. think seasonal whenever you can. These are, you know, like a tostito, but they're rolled. So sometimes as funny as it sounds, it's a conversation piece. These are kettle chips. They're uh, Thanksgiving flavor, turkey and stuffing. How fun is they're that? actually good. I I, I tried them first uh, but this wow. way it's kind of a conversation piece yeah absolutely and people like that you could label them you like can you label them do. always let's label it. and even just you know a pretty glass jar like this with chips you know instead of eating out of a bag you just feel like it's a little fancier um, fruits and veggies but ones that you don't have to cut so mm -hmm. snap peas and these little peppers and tomatoes it's colorful mm -hmm. Serve it with a dip, something like a guacamole. You of course take your fresh avocado if you have avocados on hand. That's great. Yeah, but this you could even doctor this up is a little amazing. bit too. And I I've had that before. Add a little, you know, chopped tomato or onion or fresh um, avocado to this as well. But again, a staple you can keep in your fridge. It's easy. preserved. Um, fresh berries are always easy. You just strain them. You don't have to wash. Um, you don't have to cut them. And just look a little mint and a little whipped cream and it looks like Fantastic. a fancy restaurant <laughs> uh, and again the same with the garnishes so you can keep you know all kinds of fresh herbs or even freeze-dried herbs on hand for there any you of go. your decor um, box mixes never underestimate so you know something like a mashed potato uh, cookie mix cake mix you can mix them sometimes with just a can of pumpkin mm -hmm. and you don't need eggs oil butter for if you had cookies not for these um, if, uh, you do the same thing with cookies you could do we love it frozen. even dessert is covered frozen dessert, you could um, if you make a big batch of you a signature cookie, roll it up into parchment paper and freeze it. I and love you it. have your own slice and serve. Um, bagged salads, 
It's fantastic. I've had this one actually. It's really good. And when I have like play dates over, we do this and some pre made chicken. Jen. So you're always, always, always prepared. You are prepared. <laughs> Great ideas. That's so Jen. That's so Jen.com. Very good. We'll check you out. Thanks Thank for being you. here. All right. And when it comes to time,